Hello, my name is Caleb Buford, and I'm the Digital Media Coordinator here at West End Baptist Church. Uh, I just wanted to show you all how to make the empty tomb rolls that you can find in our Easter activity pack for families, which is available on our website completely free. You don't have to input an email. You don't have to put anything in. Just get to download it, and it's perfect activity for you and your family to do. But before we start, we're going to wash our hands for 20 seconds because we be healthy, right? Yeah, we help you. So, for empty tomb rolls, you really only need about four ingredients to make them. But you can also be a little bit extra if you want to include melted butter. But we're not going to be that extra. So, for this recipe, you will need a pack of crescent rolls. Uh, they can be any brand, Kroger brand, uh, Pillsbury brand, doesn't really matter. We bought honey butter because we special and we think we have to have weird flavored stuff. But any flavored crescent roll except for like weird ones like garlic will work for this recipe. Anything sweet. You will also need eight marshmallows. You have eight crescent rolls. So eight individual regular sized marshmallows. And then a mixture of cinnamon sugar. So this is a half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon. And it makes a lot. And you, can you don't have to make this much. You could cut that by half. Um, but you can always put it in the cabinet and use it for something else always good to have. So, to start, we're going to unwrap our crescent rolls and hope that I can open this package without making myself look like a fool, because I hate crescent roll packages. It'll be fun. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Okay, well, we didn't have to beat it. That's good. So, now that we have our crescent rolls, we're going to unroll them and separate them out into individual crescents. That's okay. We can just do four at a time because I don't have a lot of working space today. And we actually really do need these. So I'm going to tear off my first one and I'm going to walk you through this. I'm also going to tell you a little bit about the symbolism. So this does not have any symbol. This is just, um, this is just for taste. This is just great to have, right? So we have our crescent rails. The crescent rails represent the tomb that Jesus was put in after he was crucified. So first we're going to take our tomb and we're going to sprinkle in some cinnamon sugar to make it all nice and sweet. And then we're gonna take our marshmallows, our marshmallow. Our marshmallow represents Jesus's body going into the tomb. So we're gonna take it, put it in the middle of the crescent roll, and then you're just gonna roll it up just like you would a regular crescent roll. Roll her up. And then we're gonna seal it. We're gonna seal the tomb like they do in the story. The tomb is sealed, you know, and for three days. So, we're going to pinch it. You also want to make sure that the rest of it is nice and flat. Because if you don't seal everything, the marshmallow will spew out. And you don't want it to spew out in the oven. Because the oven represents the three days that Jesus was in the tomb. That would not be very... Um, relatable to the story but now what it so we're gonna do the same thing on the other seven rolls that I haven't done yet and then we're gonna stick them in heaven but first let's finish this So, 
I have finished rolling them up. And the great part about this is that you can include your kids to do this so you don't have to do it all by yourself. Uh, so have fun with it. Don't have to be perfect, but just know that they do have to be sealed all the way or marshmallow will go everywhere. I have already experienced that. So once you have them done, you're gonna take a little bit of cinnamon sugar that you have and you're just gonna sprinkle it on top. And again, this has no symbolism. It's just there for the sweetness. I guess you could say it's like Jesus' love, like the sweetness of Jesus' love, you know? Because we're prepping it. Fun times. We're just making stuff up as we go, right? No. All right. So I have it done, and they are all cinnamon sugary. And now it's time for them to go in the oven. All right, so once they get done in the oven, go bake. For about 15 minutes is what I've found to be best. Just make sure that they're golden brown on the top because otherwise they're not gonna be done all the way through. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So after the three days, Jesus resurrected. And when they went to the tomb, they found it to be empty, as you can see there. So, great little analogy, and it's a great thing to do. You can start at the beginning of your, of your lesson, and then do your devotion, and then right after your devotion, pop these suckers out of the oven, let them cool for a little while while they're drawing and doodling, and then you can have them and talk about, they're open. There's no marshmallow in there, because the marshmallow melts here. I'm gonna try one. They're really good. They're airy because there's a giant air pocket in the middle of it now. And they're super cinnamon and sugar, sugary. So um, like, you don't wanna eat a lot of these because you will miss them, but they're really good. I'm just warning you. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial in this video. I hope that you all go and download the Easter activity pack for families. It's a great activity for you to do this week or on Easter Sunday. Um, and you have great snacks to go along with it. So definitely go download it on our website at wearewestend.org slash Easter. And if you decide to do any of the activities, you can post pictures of your sweets or your kids doing the sweets or of your kids drawing and just sketching all in our color sheets that we have provided in those books. You can post those on social media using the hashtag WeAreWestEndKY. Thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see all your work.